This video is on setting up camp either in a survival situation or in a camping trip and the four W's that you need to know next. Okay, so you're, you've gone out on a trip or it's a survival situation take your pick okay but a lot of this is all based on a few uh, decisions for your simple set of rules of the four w's but there are a few other things you want to make sure that you're considering here before you know you're setting up your base camp you know how long are you going to be there um, is it just a quick overnighter or is it a long-term situation are you just taking a break for a few hours you just want to cool off by the water you know that type of thing you know, it all plays in together here and you have to make sure that you're making the right decisions. Any camp that you choose for a base camp for an extended period will need to be thought out more carefully because you may eventually deplete your close resources. All right, the four W's are very easy yet an important checklist of concerns to follow. All right, and they are wood, water, wind, and widow makers. Widow makers are the worst. So your first one is wood. You got to make sure that you ask yourself the basic really question, you know, um, do I have enough wood around me? Do I have enough twigs? Do I have enough deadfall? You know, especially if you don't have a saw or a ax with you, you know, you need twigs and small branches and everything else to try to build a fire and keep that fire going. Do not let your fire go out. Always keep it going, especially if it is in a survival situation. That's one important thing to remember, especially if you had a hard time getting it going in the first place. You also want to scan the area around and make sure, you know, you're looking for anything that may help you build a shelter or, you know, add to your own shelter. Say you had a tent, of, you know, or a hammock or something like that, tarp. You know, any way that you may be able to help improve your survival situation. Generally, if you are going to be building a fire, you want to start looking for um, different types of wood. All right. If you want a fire just to keep you warm and keep going, you want to look for um, certain types of wood like a willow, poplar, pine, cedars, those type of wood. Uh, they're really good at getting fires going along with your twigs and sticks and your small stuff first. And uh, if you're looking to cook on a fire, you want to make sure that you are looking for more of a hardwood. So you want to see if you can find an ash, a walnut, an oak, a hickory, something like that, you know, to cook on or cook over uh, because the coals and the ashes stay hot, a lot hotter on hardwood than they do on the soft, more like pine wood. All right, the second W stands for water. And with any resource, you gotta have water. All right, first thing you wanna ask yourself is, how close is that water source to me so I don't have to keep walking as far and is it easy enough to get to that I can get the water? You know, maybe there could be fish in there. You know, you also have to ask yourself, is it moving water or standing water? Always look for moving water, it's your best bet. Standing water can go stagnant. It can have a lot more uh, pathogens in it. So you want to make sure that you're trying to find moving water. If you have a lake or something like that, maybe you're getting some fish out of the lake, uh, maybe some frogs. Always make sure that you've got some type of uh, fishing uh, supplies with you, either if it's just fishing line and some hooks. You can always rig something up. Your base camp is your safety zone. You want to make sure that you are protecting yourself in your base camp you want to make sure that you know you're you're watching what's going on around you how far you are from your water source your wood source and everything else wind is another great thing that can really uh, wreak havoc on your setup that is the third w you also have to remember that when these storms roll in and they come over the mountains you may not know what's coming until it's right on top of you and the wind and the heavy rain and everything else hits and you want to make sure that your base camp is set up and ready to go. 
The fourth W is the widow makers. You got to make sure before you even set up your camp and do anything, especially if it's your base camp and you're staying there for a long period of time, that you are looking up in the trees. You're looking for anything dead that is hanging because if the wind picks up, it can blow it out of the trees. And that is why it is called a widow maker because it will kill you and leave your wife without a husband. So thank you for watching my video. This has been Survival Preparedness for Beginners, and I appreciate everything that everybody's done for my channel. I appreciate you watching my videos, and remember to look for those widow makers because they hide up in the top of the trees. They're really good at that. So until next time, this is Survival Preparedness for Beginners. Catch you on the flip side.